Hi y'all! <laughs> Hello guys! Welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot Readings from my heart. It's been a long time, I know. Jeez, oh my goodness. I know, I came... What happened? You know what happened, don't you? You know, for you guys that watch, are my avid watchers, thank you for, you know, sticking with me in the channel and everything. You know that back in November, I took three weeks off because I was kind of really ill with flu, sciatica and a dodgy foot. <laughs> oh man, it was tough. And you know the story of that because I let you guys know what was going down with me, why I hadn't been on the channel. Um, and then I recorded uh, some videos for that week and then I was off again. So I think when I counted it up, because we're nearing the 7th, and I think it was the 7th of November that I actually went off. And then I came back near, I think it might have been something like, I don't know, the 30th of November or something when I re-recorded something and then I went off again around the, the 30th or the 7th of December, something like that in between those dates. And then I came back again and I said, okay, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be more consistent. I'm a lot better. And I was a lot better and I have been a lot better. Thank you, Lord, because I, it, I, it was a bad illness back in November. Um... But then, obviously, you guys know that I had, because I was ill, I had this huge backlog of clients. I mean, loads of them. <laughs> loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Um, especially on the year aheads. I mean, I had people ordering other readings, but also a lot of year aheads, because it's, it's the time of year when you have a lot of people wanting to do their 12-month forecast, that type of thing. And don't get me wrong, my website has always been a very... I'm very proud of what I've created with the website. I'm very proud of the fact that I've created a very successful business. I'm now branching into other areas and things like that. It's great. But uh, I noticed that because I'd been ill as well... Sorry, that's my Alexa. Alexa, don't turn on. I'm not talking to you. Um, <laughs> I noticed because... Um, uh, I noticed because I'd been ill, I'd had a lot of clients. And then I had more clients coming in for the year ahead. So... Uh, I think all in all, in around two months, because we're nearing the 7th anyway, and when this reading goes up, it's probably going to be around the 7th of January or something like that. Um, so all in all, in around two months, I've only been on twice. Mm, sorry, guys, I'm really sorry. But first it was illness, and then it was, you know, it's taken me literally two months to get all of the year ahead and the other readings done and down. And I'm now comfortably at a position where I can finally come back onto YouTube and record when you run a business and you have a lot of clients, because don't think I have new clients coming in, but I also have a massive, massive pool of returning clients, people that return over and over and over again, because I've read for thousands of people. So I have a lot of clients. Um, and that take, and usually I can manage what I have coming in very, very comfortably. But then there are certain times of year when it just kind of like gets really, really... And I luckily now I have my twin sister who's my mind. But she works as a, 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 a project manager over at a university. But she's amazing with like web work and marketing and newsletters and all that type of thing. So luckily I've had her working alongside me when she can. Because obviously she holds down a full-time career. Um... And, but she works with me on the weekends, helping me with reports, that type of thing. So I just really wanted to come and explain why I haven't been on, why I've not been consistent with the channel. It's because I've been really busy on the website. And also we're venturing now into setting up some stuff, um, working in alliance with a particular company to do certain things. Um, and also, you know, just thinking about the year ahead and the things that I want to try and do. So instead of putting up a weekly this week, I'm going to put up a month ahead. So we're also going to look at, I know it's a little bit late, I know. Hmm. But uh, yeah, we're going to look, we're going to look from around January 7th through to February 7th. Okay, so we're going to look, whatever time I know that this is going up, I'm going to put it from there. So we're going to look, yeah, we're going to look around January 7th or 8th through to February 7th or 8th. So we're going to do a monthly like that. And instead of having the 1st of Jan to the end of Jan, we're going to have a look at you know jan to you know feb whatever the dates are okay that i start all right so that's what we're gonna do all right let's get on with the reading guys as from next week i'll be back on to the weeklies but really i just wanted to kind of just say thank you and put out a couple of kind of biggest largest readings out to you guys all right love you guys loads sit back relax and enjoy Hi guys, welcome to your uh, month ahead reading. Uh, this is from January the 8th, Wednesday, January the 8th through to February, uh, through to February the 7th. Is that right? Yeah, February. <laughs> 
I'm not very good at these dates. Okay, no, we're gonna go from January the 8th through to February 8th, okay? I think that's kind of like a full month on sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. So we're looking at the next sort of four weeks or so, okay? From January 8th, 2020 through to February 8th, 2020, okay? Because I'm starting a little bit later, just one week kind of into the month. Um, for your month ahead this week, and I will be back with weeklies, guys. It's just that I fancy doing a month ahead this week. We are going to use um, one of the newest decks that I've got. I actually have this for my family for Christmas. It's all the way from America. It's a lovely deck. I really like this. The Tarot Elementals. Tarot of the Natural. Uh, beautiful. It's, and it's illustrated by 81 artists. Written by Trish... What's that name? Trish Sullivan. Okay, I couldn't see that. Uh, yeah, illustrated by 81 artists. So every single deck, every single card has... A different artist it's been it so you'll see the difference in the styles showing up but it's lovely it's quite big as well so we're going to use that we're probably going to do i'm wondering what i don't even know what um what spread i'm going to do today but i just feel that um i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm probably going to just do a 20 card spread and just talk about what i see in the cards um showing up but no no i'll tell you what i'll do i'll do a celtic cross that's what i'll do i'll do that today i haven't done that in a while uh clarifies we may use the tarot grand lux by chiro marchetti this is another deck i've got about three of these one for clients one for youtube and one for my own study deck this is the youtube one and um for your um spiritual advice for the month we're using either both or one of either Carl Gray's uh keepers of the light oracle cards or the blessed bee cards by lucy Cavendish. All right, here we go. Uh, bear with me and we're going to make a start on your reading. Ah, oh, hi Scorps. <laughs> your cards are down. You know, I got recording. Now I like, now this is the tarot elemental that we're using. And I had recorded this card, this card, this card, this card, and up to here, this card. And then I looked at my screen and I noticed there was no red button on. I thought, Carol, you've just been recording like for 10 minutes and there's, <laughs> there's no, there's, what are you doing girl? There's, there's, you haven't recorded a thing. Luckily I didn't go all the way through the reading. All right. Oh, how is it when I do that? Anyway, thankfully I noticed. So we're going to go back to the beginning of the reading. Luckily, and it's a shame you didn't see me shuffle the cards. I hate that. I hate it when I come on screen, you don't see the shuffle because I've forgotten to turn on the record button or something. But anyway, I know what the card, I don't know, I don't know what's here and I don't know what's here, 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 but I know the rest of them, all right? So, let's go back to the beginning. This is your month ahead, January 8th through to February 8th reading, okay? So, let's have a look. Uh, the energy around you in, uh, in, um, in January to February is the King of Earth, King of Coins, Okay. Maybe it didn't record because I wasn't meant to say what I was meant to say about this guy. But anyway, this is can, this can be a business guy, the King of Coins energy. Usually he shows as being somebody who's really kind of practical and down to earth. Very, very grounded energy uh, as an individual. Uh, this could be somebody who, um, and you can see all the bling on him. Can you see all the jewellery he's wearing? Look at that. Looks like a rich guy. Looks like this is somebody possibly with a lot of money. You can see the pentacle in his head. <laughs> he's got his uh, on his turban, um, the pentacle here. He's dressed and he's got a like a, a a little kind of chain around his neck here. You know, a, is that a pentacle? A pentagon or something? I don't know what it is. Uh, exactly, Star of David or something. But he's yeah, okay. Um, he's got a lot of gold on. So this could be somebody who's got a lot of money. This could be somebody who's a, a business person, for example. Somebody who's quite well to do. Somebody who's quite. Uh, financially stable, secure, that type of thing. Anyway, this person is around you, Scorpio, uh, between January and February. Now, let's have a look at the reasons why this person's showing up. So, it's here and here. You guys are here. So, we want to see who Scorpio is. Who are you in January, between January and February? Right. So, you're showing this being the moon. So, this area I look at as being who the client is. All right. So, your energy shows up, Scorpio, as being the moon. Uh, when you're the moon, there's a little bit of kind of uh, anxiety that goes on with that card. When you're the moon, you can be confused. When you're the moon, you can be deeply intuitive. But I don't think that you are, in a way, judging by what that card was there. Um, I would probably say that you are, with this moon energy, going through... Uh, and it's not depression or anything like that, Scorpio, but it felt like on the reading when I started it the first time around that there was a, a modicum of... 
of confusion showing up with that card there that's what that felt like it felt like you were slightly confused about something being the moon energy and also slightly anxious as well now let's have a look at what the reason is for you being the moon card and this individual what's the connection between you being the moon leading to this king of coins being around you in uh january to february 2020 well the root issue is all about da -da, the seven of water seven of cups so there are a lot of options and choices that you've got to make here. Now, on this card, it's interesting when I look at this character, it just looks like everything is out of reach. It looks like everything is out of reach. But it also, it, it kind of feels, if you, can you see how she's kind of, can you see? She's reaching out, but it's like everything is out of reach. Sometimes center cuts can be where something is out of reach. Okay. Um, it depends what that is. Is it that there are a lot of options around you, a lot of choices? Is somebody quite grounded and intelligent helping you to make those choices? Or is something out of reach to you and do you need help in getting it with that King of Coins sitting there? Because I think with the moon energy showing here, um, it could be also that you are deeply intuitive with the moon, Scorpio. Maybe your intuition tells you, actually, I'm finding it difficult getting something here and I need the help of that king of coins what is influencing this king of coins sitting here as well okay so the reason that he's showing there is the wheel of fortune it feels to me like this person sits here like they you're encountering or you're experiencing this person through a stroke of fate a stroke of luck it's almost like you run into this person i don't get the impression that you even know this person here i just feel that this person comes in to help you at the very time that you need it because the influence of this person sitting here being in your energy in 2020 scorpio is because of that wheel of fortune so it almost feels like it's fated it feels like somebody comes in in 20 in sorry in january between january and february 2020 because it feels like the universe has put them there because the Wheel of Fortune is all about your fate and your destiny. And what happens is you have no control over that Wheel of Fortune. So sometimes it's divine intervention is the Wheel of Fortune. So if we call the Wheel of Fortune divine intervention, we could say, well, Scorpio is experiencing this person here because of divine intervention with the wheel. So I feel that you've got an angelic presence around you. And I think the universe is putting somebody in your way to help you because the root issue is something is out of your reach with the Seven of Cups. This isn't about you making choices. You can see her hand is held out. She could just can't get these things. So I feel that for some of you guys, Scorpio, there is something here that's out of your reach. And there is someone around you. As a result of that, you've got somebody around you who's helping you to get it. All right, to achieve it. All right, and I feel that the reason that they're showing up is because of the Wheel of Fortune. The universe has put planted someone in your way it, between January and February 2020 who can help you get something that's been out of your reach all right and i feel that with the moon energy here i don't see this being your deep intuition now i see this being your confusion i think you show as being slightly anxiety anxious and confused uh if you look here look at the cat he looks kind of look i don't want to put a cat on this but <laughs> this artist did the cat it's cute it's done by who's the artist joanna nelson it's quite nice but it feels like i mean your head isn't under the water cats don't like water do they of course they don't let me try and figure this out. So yeah, you're not kind of, you're not, um, you're not sinking, put it that way. And actually, uh, the fact that I think that cat, and I, I know that cats don't like water, do they? I'm sure that cats don't like water. So your head is above water. So you're not sinking yet. So actually, I don't really see um, anxiety. I see perception. And I see uh, thoughtfulness in a way with the moon. It's almost like you're trying to figure out how you're going to sort a situation. I mean, you're very wary of getting submerged because you've got the water above your head. Can you see how it's looking up at the water? It's like, don't you dare. It's like, don't you dare. Don't you dare submerge me, love. <laughs> don't you dare do that to me. It feels like... And also, it's interesting. If you thought about the cat, cats don't like water, yet this cat is sitting in water and he's kind of like... He's not yelping he's not squealing he's just kind of dealing with it so actually i feel with you guys showing us the cat in the water scorpio it actually feels to me like you are kind of submerged in some form of i wouldn't say that it's emo i mean it's emotion and it's emotion as a result of a situation that you're going through but i feel that with this cat not squirming here scorpio you're kind of just You've got, you know, you're keeping your head above water and you're not worrying, which is lovely. And that's 
often if you are finding yourself in a little bit of a worrying situation, Scorpio, but you choose not to give in to it, you choose not to, you know, throw anxiety at it, like this cat in the water, he could easily start squirming and squirreling and be like, oh man, I want to get out of this. But he's not, he's like, I'm in the water, I don't really like it. But you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of deal with it. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to, and, and that's what I think for me, the, the card means. It means dealing with um, a tumultuous situation, but just kind of being able to accept it for what it is and learning how to, um, how to, how to roll with it and not worry too much. And I think because of that, because of that energy, this is why the universe being that wheel there, the divine energies around you being the wheel, are bringing in somebody who can help you. Because there is something here in your life that is out of reach with that Seven of Cups energy there. Now, in the recent past, uh, you guys have experienced the Tower. Now, this is when I noticed that the camera wasn't actually rolling <laughs> when this card came up. But I feel that some of you guys have experienced maybe this shift or something that came in something came in that you didn't really expect with the tower there was possibly some chaos that happened with the tower energy or something came in out of the blue or something happened and it just wasn't expected and some of you guys if you are the tower showing up here I mean you can see that you're letting off steam that's what comes to mind when I look at this tower card is somebody who's letting off steam and it could be that you have been letting off steam because the tower is ruled by Mars and Mars is one of Scorpio's ruling planets so if you are the tower being Scorpio, you could really be kind of losing your temper and letting off steam. And some of you guys have been letting off steam in the recent past, probably because there's something that's out of reach to you and you've been very frustrated by it. But I do feel that right now, because this is in the recent past, but I do feel that in January through to, to February 2020, you guys are no longer letting off steam. Because whilst you've let off steam with the tower in the recent past, probably December, November time, uh, right now in January going into, you know, going into February, you guys are kind of like, eh, there's no point in me letting off steam, you know what, I might as well just sit in it, you know, I might as well, I'm, I've got all of this emotion around me, and I have let off steam in the past about it, but you know what, I'm just going to kind of sit with it, I'm going to trust, there's an element of trust I think that comes along with that moon when I look at it, and that's why the universe is intervening now and sending you somebody who can help you, all right, somebody who can help you either make a choice or either reach a particular goal because her goals are just out of reach what's the most likely outcome from this situation uh in february well the eight of coins energy i certainly feel that you're going to be working towards a plan of action with the eight of coins energy because the eight of coins is working hard to develop a plan of action so i certainly feel that through whoever this person is you'll be working uh, you know, um, systematically with that Eight of Coins energy to develop some form of a plan going forward with the Eight of Coins energy. For some of you guys, it might be that you get a job. For example, if you've found it difficult getting a job with the Seven of Cups, all these jobs that you've wanted have been out of reach. You've blown off steam about it around the uh, around the uh, November, December time. You've been getting real mad, real angry about it. It might be that debts have been coming up, this, that and the other, and you can't afford to pay it. Maybe with the moon energy here, you've just been like, right now, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just not going to worry about it kind of thing with that moon. Because he's sat in water. Cats are meant to hate water. But I don't see this cat kind of squirming and getting really angry. He's just kind of dealing with it. Universe is sending in divine help. Wheel of Fortune. It comes in the form of this individual. Might be the most likely outcome is you end up getting a job. If it's a job thing, for example. Because it is the eight of coins which can be work. Uh, what's coming in then? Sort of latter stages of January going into February for some of you guys. We do have a King of Cups showing here. I mean, I wouldn't read this as you. I'd read this as an offer coming to you. Because when you get a King of Cups, a King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, for me, not so. I mean, it can be the Queen of Cups sometimes, but for me, it's more those cards King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, uh, sorry, Page of Cups. There's an offer. There's an invitation, an offer of some help um, coming to you. I mean, the most likely outcome is possibly some of you guys working on a plan of action, or it could be something to do with a job or getting some work or something here with the Age of Coins. But that's the most likely outcome. What we're seeing, though, is latter stages, we are seeing an offer of some type coming in here. Uh, what is uh, going on outside of you? Uh, are there any people that are important to the situation? Well, the Two of Swords happening here. It feels like, and if you look at this Two of Swords here, it feels like this woman is trying to put two swords together. 
So it almost, and swords represent action, especially the Ace of Swords. It's like a couple of ideas together. So it might be around you. Somebody is trying to, especially if you found it difficult, if something's been out of reach here with the Seven of Cups. For example, maybe a job, something. Maybe somebody's trying to put a plan of action together with that Two of Swords energy. And it's not until that's done, until everything is aligned. Because it might be, it looks to me like the Two of Swords, this angel is trying to align the Two of Swords here. So it feels like outside of the situation, you do have kind of these heavenly forces that are trying to align. They're trying to put things together for you, Scorpio. All right, so you need to have that patience. But there is an offer, and that's why this offer is coming in. Because I feel with the Two of Swords energy here that the angelic forces around you that are bringing this person into your world, they're actually trying to align two things. They're trying to align the ideas. They're trying to bring the two, you know, the two things together. Let's have a look at what your hopes or fears are. Uh, the Knight of Wands. Well, I feel the hopes are that, you know, that just to move forward. Uh, just things to move forward at a quick rate. Some of you guys are hoping for change. Could be a change of home, a change of residence. Knight of Wands is usually the change of home card. But some of you guys might be hoping for a change of home or a home move. It might be for some of you guys that this is about a home move. Maybe something's out of reach here and you need. And King of Pentacles can easily be an estate agent, somebody who works in real estate. So maybe the King of Coins is somebody who works in real estate. Showing here. All right, and maybe this person is showing up because the influence is to change your fortunes. Maybe you found it really difficult to sell your house. Some of you guys, it could be work. Some of you guys, it's probably selling a house. It's being kind of like, oh man, this is really getting on my nerves here. Uh, but movement forward, Knight of Wands. The hope would be for movement, swift movement, swift action, swift movement forward. What's the overall outcome from this? Because this could be an offer coming in, especially if it's anything to do with the home. It feels like it's something like an offer coming in. Could be on a home, for example, if it's a house situation for some of you guys. What is the overall outcome? Ah, Six of Cups energy showing here. That's interesting. Um, let me have a look at this Six of Cups. Because Six of Cups is the past or it's the imagination. Okay, I just get the impression that you've got to visualise that this is going to go well. I think the overall outcome for the month is being the Six of Cups, which is the Six... I mean, the Six of Cups is not a particularly strong foundational card because it deals with either past memories or it deals with the need to... Um, uh, it deals with close relationships, family relationships. I mean, you've got an offer here, a King of Cups. This is somebody who has your best, you know, your best... Um, this is somebody who really regards you. This is somebody who's really kind, really thoughtful. This King of War Cups energy. King of Water, King of Cups. He's got this offer for you with the King of Cups energy. The overall outcome from that is the Six of Water energy showing here. It's interesting. I'm going to clarify what it means by the Six of Water. Six of Cups. What do you mean by the Six of Cups in two cards is the overall outcome for the month for Scorpio? What do you mean the Six of Cups? Because it could either be that there's an offer here, but the Six of Cups might mean that it's not solid enough because there's a childishness to that card. So while there's an offer here, it might be that it's preliminary-wise, but it's not solid enough. Six of Cups energy. Um, or it could be maybe there's an offer. Maybe with the Six of Cups energy here, you're kind of, you know, thinking about it, that type of thing. I'm just going to have a look. What do you mean by the Six of Cups is the overall outcome in two cards for Scorpio? Right, so you've got the Two of Wands energy here. So the Two of Wands for me is all about a plan of action or there is an opportunity. You can see a gateway here. So it's almost like there's an opening here. I see this as an, a gateway when I look at this Two of Wands. It feels like it's saying that there is an opening here with the Two of Wands energy. You've got the King of Coins showing up here. It feels like you've got an opportunity to settle a situation here. I'm going to read it differently here because I've got this man here and he shows up again, but I feel I need to read this differently here. King of Coins would be the settlement card as well. Accomplishing. So there could be an opportunity for you to accomplish something here or an opportunity for you to settle something here. All right, so it's saying that it means by the Six of Cups that there's an opportunity for you to settle something here. So maybe with the Six of Cups, you need to be able to look at what the opportunity is because it's in your hands. You need to be able to visualize the opportunity here because what I'm seeing here is, um, and it feels like as well, uh, I'll tell you what feels really interesting in, it feels like almost in these end cards here, Scorpio, it feels like the universe is selling it to you. That's the only thing. It feels really weird. It feels like it's selling it to you because why else is it saying that you need to visualize, you know, 
this thing. You need to visualise it being a good thing. Can you see it? Can you see how she's got the whatever this is in her hand? It looks like an ass, to be honest. It's a flower. But she's she's making she, it's almost like she's making it. Like children would visualise, wouldn't they? They would daydream and imagine. So it's almost like this the universe is saying, imagine yourself hold and the flower is blooming. So it's almost like it's saying to you, imagine yourself holding this blooming flower in your hand, this thing of beauty. And it's saying, well, Carol, what we mean by that is there's an opportunity for Scorpio to settle this situation, which then to me would say that you don't really want this offer. Okay. Because that two of swords, actually, I'm going to read this now in terms of a different thing. And so the situation coming in might be you, two of swords. You might be blocking, rejecting that offer. I think it's that. I'm going to now read this space here as being influences coming in. It makes more sense to read it that way. It feels to me some of you guys might be rejecting whatever this offer is. But the universe is saying to you, look, Scorpio, you might want to reject with the two of swords the offer made by this king. But, you know, you need to visualise. And actually, that flower there, it's almost like it's saying, look, it might look small right now, but look what you could do with it. You need to visualise the opportunity, the offer coming to you that you so readily want to reject, Scorpio. Just visualise with that Six of Cups that if you took it, what it could grow to be. You know, visualise it opening up all sorts of things for you. And that's why the universe is saying to you, Scorpio, there's an opportunity here either to make a lot of money maybe with the King of Coins energy or to settle a situation uh, or to accomplish something here with the King of Coins. But I'm going to read this not as this King of Coins here, but as the settlement card that it is. So it just feels that there is an opportunity here with this Two of Wands energy for you to settle a situation with the King of Coins energy showing you. It just feels like there's an opportunity for you to do something. I feel with the Two of Swords you don't see it. And I'm going to ask why you seem to want to reject the offer from the King of Water, the King of Cups. Why is Scorpio rejecting this offer? Why are they seeking to reject this offer by the King of Cups in two cards? Because... The Three of Swords shows up here. Um, I feel that there's disappointment on your part with this Three of Swords energy. The Eight of Cups energy showing up here. So um, I think that you're conflicted about taking a new direction with the Eight of Cups. I think some of you guys with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords also talks about mental conflict. That card will show up when you've got a very, very difficult decision to make. So it might be for some of you guys that you're kind of rejecting that offer because you're very conflicted with the three of swords as to whether you should take this new direction with the eight of cups and that's why the universe is trying to sell it to you <laughs> i love the way it works it's saying look we know that you're conflicted you don't want to come out of a safety zone and you don't not really not really you you want to stay within the known which funnily enough scorpio you know we are kind of a bit of a a mess really aren't we we're kind of like on the one hand we are a fixed sign and on the other hand we are the death card phoenix rising from the ashes people who like it's really weird that's why i think that you just get this juxtaposition of scorpios that love change and scorpios that don't but i feel here that's why the universe is selling this to you scorpio and they're saying look you can either with this six you know you need to look at this as having pure potential because that flower has the pure potential here. I mean, if you look at these flowers, actually, they don't look too great, do they? They look fairly closed. But she puts it in her hand and she's imagining that it has the potential to open up. So the universe is saying, look, just imagine the potential of this situation that comes to you. There's an opportunity for you maybe to settle debt, to settle, you know, problems with finances, king of coins energy, settlement. There's an opportunity for you to settle a few things, especially financially, maybe. Let's quickly do this reading again before we go. So what are we saying then? We're saying that Scorpio in um, between January and February 2020, I do feel Scorpio that there is some confusion here with you. You're showing us being the moon. You're showing us being quite, what's the word? Quite pensive. And you're sitting in a whole heap of emotion. Now you're the cat. Remember cats don't like water. But you're kind of sitting in a whole heap of emotion. You're kind of swamped a little bit by emotion, but you refuse to get too perplexed about it. Showing here, and you can see above your head is fishes. Fishes represent money. So you've been thinking about money, some of you guys. You've been like, oh man, I've got to make money. How am I going to make money? How am I going to make all this money? You're like, oh man, you know, I'm submerged in all of this emotion with the moon energy. I'm worried about a lot of things, but you know what? Actually, I'm not going to try and worry about it because in the recent past, December, uh, December, probably November, October, I was like blowing up. You know, I was really kind of getting really angry and frustrated 
being that Tars is Tars, Mars is my ruling planet. And if it's me, which I think this is you, the teller, in the recent past, you guys, you got really pissed off. But in January, you're like, you know what, I can't be bothered to get pissed off no more. You know, I am worried, but, you know, being the, you know, the cat, I should be flaying about with the water. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sit here and kind of just chill. Um, and I think that that's when the universal energy comes in. Because as a result of this energy... There's somebody around you, a king of coins, a very grounded, practical, intelligent individual. They've got money. They're probably a business person. They could be somebody who works for an employment agency, whatever it is. But this person shows up for a couple of reasons. Number one, because there is something that you need and that you want that is out of reach to you with that seven of cups. Number two, I feel that they're showing up because, number one, the universe has sent them. The universe has put them in your way to help you. It's divine intervention. Number two, they want to change your fortunes. Now, if you stick with this person, most likely for some of you guys, if it's work, you're going to get a job. If it's a way to resolve a situation, you're going to work towards putting a plan of action into place. And that's the most likely outcome, which is great because the overall outcome from that is imagine the opportunity that this could put, you know, provide for you. It could really open things up. So that's the most likely outcome. If things carry on the way that they're going, that will be the most likely outcome for you, which is still excellent. Now, what's coming in the latter stages, I think, of January is this person here who's coming to you with an opportunity. And it's quite an abundant one because you can see the cup is filled with water. And when you get water overflowing on cups, the opportunity is filled with lots of potential. So somebody's coming to you with a opportunity that is filled with a lot of potential however i do feel that coming in scorpio you guys are going to kind of be like the two of swords you know you're going to be like like ah oh, no nah, i don't think i really want that actually no nah, no 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 i think i think i'll cut it no thanks anyway thanks but no thanks but the only reason that you're doing that is because you are very conflicted about walking away from something that you already have or something that you're already doing. You don't really want that change. Not really. You want a change in terms of maybe money. Or in terms of maybe debt. Or in terms of getting rid of something. Because you feel that certain things are out of your reach. And there's somebody here who wants to help you change that. They really do. And the universe. On top of that. The universe is said. We've put them here for you Scorpio. Can you not see it? And there you are. Now whether this be a third party on a result, as a result of this guy here or whether they're the same person, you are being given a golden opportunity. The chalice is golden and the water is overflowing. You're being given a golden opportunity here, Scorpio, but you're rejecting it because as soon as this comes to you, you're like, oh man, I don't know, I really know whether I want to do it actually. I don't know whether I want to do it because, you know, I'm really conflicted here. All right, I'm really conflicted. Oh man, about, you know, leaving behind something I'm already doing. I don't know. Your hopes are for rapid change, Knight of Wands. Your hopes will always be, um, also be, well, maybe the hope is, I hope that I can just, you know, pursue this, go for it with the boldness and the, all the courage that I can muster. Because it's obvious that you want some form of a change, Scorpio. It's just that you don't like what you have to do to get it. That's the thing. But there are some sacrifices here that may need to be made. The overall outcome from this, where this person here makes that offer to you, all right, but you are rejecting it because you're afraid of change. The universe is saying the overall outcome for the month is Scorpio. You have an opportunity in your hands. Visualize how this opportunity could really open up different things for you. Focus on the abundance, the potential of this. Visualize the potential of it. It doesn't look that great now. Look at the flowers. They look a bit scrawny to me. But it says, look, what doesn't look like a great opportunity now could really flourish into something. And it's clarifying. It's saying, well, yeah, it is. The universe said to me, Carol, yeah, that's what we mean, Carol. We mean for Scorpio, there's a gateway of opportunity right now. And that gateway of opportunity could possibly afford you the potential. Maybe it's to make a lot of money, King of Coins. Maybe it's to settle some debts, King of Coins. Maybe it's to accomplish or achieve something here with the King of Coins energy. You know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You want the change and you're waiting for it and it turns up for you. <laughs> but as soon as it comes, you don't want it, Scorpio. But the universe is saying, think again. Take a second look at this because this could be a really good opportunity for you coming in. Let's have a quick look at what the advice is through. We're going to have a look at the Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. Uh, universe, what is the advice you have for Scorpio on this reading? 
for the month. What is the advice that you have for Scorpio, please, in one card? Life force. Express your driving passions. Sensual and sexual powers are to be increased. Okay, that's interesting. But I'm just going to go with the first one. I think this is representative of the devil, isn't it? Sir Nunas. I'm sure that that's another word for the devil or something. But it makes sense. Express your driving force, your driving passion. All right? I don't think this is about sex as such. It could be for some of you guys. But I think it's more about just saying to yourself, you know, if I have a passion for change, if there's something here that needs to change in my life and I'm given the opportunity to do that, but I'm afraid to do it because it means having to, you know, um, having to cut myself off from certain things that I'm used to doing. The universe is saying, don't think like that, Scorpio, because there is a real opportunity here for change and you need to express your driving passion. There you go, the driving passion is the night of fire. And you hope that you could do that, so why not go with it? This is an opportunity coming to you, okay? An opportunity. See the opportunity uh, rather, than the, rather than the problems, okay? See the opportunity and not kind of the fear, okay? I, don't, I think that you're kind of okay right now, but as soon as it comes, it's like, oh, man, I don't know. You know, see it as the opportunity rather than something that you have to fear, okay? Or as you're reading for, Feb for uh, June through to February 2020, I'd like to say thanks ever so much, guys, for joining me. I will be back hopefully next week with your weekly readings coming in. All right. Love you loads. Take care, Scorps. Bye-bye, darlings. Bye.